it. Now be honest about it. It's all it's always you always want somebody to, to, to do good. So of course we're gonna ask them, hey Tebow, you know, go go do your thing, try it out, see if it works. But once it don't work, be honest about it. You know, the biggest thing that you gotta think about Well and, and I think Urban Meyer was. If you take a look, I mean I, I'm surprised one, I'm surprised that he gave him the, the the shot in the first place. The opportunity. I mean, I, I was excited. I was hoping to see him do do well. I mean, we, we covered that a few yeah. weeks back. Uh, I, But, I mean, in in my heart of hearts, I even with his athleticism, I kind of I thought he was biting off more than he could chew. Although, I have to say, he looked like he put on about 10, 15 pounds of rip. Well, like that was, well that, he had to. He that, had to. That was because you're, block, you're blocking defensive ends. You're blocking big ass linebackers. Yeah. Blitzing, yeah. blitzing safeties. He had to put on that weight. And then you got to take those hits if you're catching the ball. But like you said, you're just going to jump out of retirement into pro football and at a tight end, which is a position you had not played before. So yeah. well, keep we, it in you mind. You root for him. You root for him to, to make it. Mm. But at the same token, in the back of your mind, you're like, mm, you're not gonna make it. Keep in mind, yeah. he, he was probably doing that as a publicity stunt. Well, and, and, and I'm even not, look, not even if he did, it. even if he did, he sold a ton of jerseys. Oh yeah, a ton of jerseys. Tebow, Jack Tebow works. sold his, and, and of course you know, the players get a percentage of that. Person. Yeah, I think it's like five percent of your yeah, five percent. I, I think it might even be more than that. The licensing and all that, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, so they they got some spark for their franchise. They got some people out there buying the jerseys and, and watch that might actually be a collector's item and and he saved some so money. He, got, he got some money from the contract so you, so. you if, if you guys even like tebow a little bit it might be worth trying to hunt down I, one of those jerseys I, you know like i said i didn't have a problem with tebow uh period i my problem was he was not to me he was never a quarterback he was a fullback playing quarterback mm. in college mm. that's, the way, that, that's, that, what that, that's because he was primarily used too much in that wildcat formation yeah. stuff yeah so I mean, but when he and then when he got the chance to play, he wasn't coached up enough to to you know even though they well, he had that play where he beat he, the Steelers, which means he could throw the ball. Unfortunately, but, when you do the Wildcat as much as they did in college, th- he was basically he was not prepared for how yeah, NFL yeah, approaches exactly the position exactly. And I think if they just and, sat him instead but, of starting him and let him. Learn but how many how many people did he impress? Not only with his uh, mentality and his and his discipline. And his enthusiasm. I mean, he 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 had everybody all in. He damn near had a coke following. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you're not too far off the mark. The thing I liked about him is his positivity. Yeah, yeah, and 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 the fact that he he enjoyed being there with his teammates. You know, and he was, you know, even maybe even using it a little bit loosely, he was a leader on that team. Even even as a rookie, he was a leader. Yeah. And how, and how many Pittsburgh fans were? Pissed, pissed off, off in the. I know, I know one name. I know one name, Shelby Jones. Right. That was really pissed off. Right, right, James. <laughs> right, I mean, Pittsburgh. He should have. Uh, if they were going to bring him back for anything, they should have probably put him as a fullback slash or, uh, as a running back. Oh yeah, or a power I think back as a fullback. Least. Fullback definitely because they they do more blocking than anything. Well, and, well, not necessarily a fullback because you don't want him to block. You want him to run. So he did so a like lot a, of running, like, like 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 a power back. Oh, like, so maybe like to do that option, right? So where. Uh, well, kind of like the Wildcat, where you're you're running out, yeah, right. The, the, the because of the even, tailback because is, as you're doing like a sweep. If you, if, yeah. even, even if you have him as a as a uh, a running back, right? Uh huh. Once you do the Wildcat, he's still a quarterback, so yeah. he can still throw the ball. Uh, and he and he had so, an arm, right? I, I know that he needed to work on some accuracy issues, but um, but he he could definitely get it down the field. That's why I was saying uh, in in our earlier segments, I was saying that. If you are going to bring him on the team, just bring him as a quarterback and let's, let's call it – I mean, put him as a second-string or third-string quarterback and call it a day. When the when the play comes up, you don't know if he's running or you don't know if he's throwing. Oh, so basically basically pay him a QB minimum to be the Taysom Hill for the yeah. Jacksonville Jaguars? <laughs> it, 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 it's working for, it's working for uh, the Saints, so – Well, we don't know how well that's going to work this year because now with Jameis – Taking the helm and Taysom basically in the still in the same spot, you know there's going to be a controversy at some point. Well, I mean, we even it, it, like like with the Saints. So if you see Taysom Hill in the slot or on the side, you got to put you have to put coverage on him. So that takes a defender. So now Jameis got other options because yeah. you still got Alpha Kamara, even though Thomas might not be there. You still got a whole other options. And then at the end of the day, if Jameis feels like it, he can always run for five yards. Mm. 
that they could do the same thing with Trevor Lawrence and uh, Tim Tebow. I'm not they sure could they be a ten. Want, they I'm not could sure be a ten. They want Trevor Lawrence running. The ball. Well, no, no, I'm not talking about that. I'm saying that, that they, they can do yeah, something if, similar. If Trevor Lawrence starts yeah. running the ball. Are we going to have another RG three on our hands? Oh man. <sighs> But uh, Tre- <laughs> Trevor Trevor Lawrence can uh, have plenty of options because if y'all got Tim Tebow, like they can even do a mini, I don't want to say flea flicker, but like another version of the flea flicker where basically Tim Tebow's acting like he's running, like play action run oh, to the outside. Like, uh, yeah, and then Trevor saying. Lawrence throws it to him because he's going to be open cause, and he throws it down the field. Or he can run. Where he goes and acts like he's going to block, lets right. the tight end break or the defensive right. end break in, and he just stands there and gets the two, three yards off the bat. Or that's one option. Or he could stand there and he has a better, uh, uh, he has another uh, a vision of a quarterback on the side where he can throw the ball further down the field. Just throwing that out there. Oh, just, you know. All I know is uh, Tebow, uh, I, and as I said this on Tuesday, uh, we heard that you got, you did pretty good with your uh, college analytics when you were doing the calling some of those college games back in the day. I would stick with that. You think it will revert to coaching? Tebow coach? Who, who's he going to coach? No, he, yeah. He, where where, yeah, where, where he, would he, he go? Make, I know he's making a joke, right? <laughs> he's got to be. <laughs> that shit wasn't funny. <laughs> You're laughing, right? Uh, but no. The, moving on. The, go, back, go back to the to – the, um, the the sportcast the the sport the cat what's it called the sportcast booth whatever and call mm-hmm. call the college games what yeah. you've been doing um you try I mean I, he he didn't do I mean he wasn't in the booth he was more like you know like the halftime oh the commentator, commentator. Oh, yeah okay. he All was right. doing some of that for some of the college games um I want to say about a year or two ago I mean he he was doing he wasn't doing it like consistently but it was like they were they were grabbing him for certain things maybe yeah, that was okay. to help him boost his momentum on that. Say, well, hey, I mean, let me go also, back. I mean, like, come well, on, I mean, retirement. Hone your craft. Get back out there and yeah. and do what you do. If you take a look, you know he he knows how to talk. You know, mm-hmm. he, he's with his positivity and his demeanor. He, he's definitely fun to watch. And and he, he's not an idiot. He he knows what he's talking about. I mean, especially since he was uh, you know in the thicket there when, in his college years, or mm-hmm. you know he he knows what was going on with the Heisman stuff. He knows what's going on with the rivalries. I mean, he, he knows. So yeah. you know he lived it, and then. He, so he can talk about it really, um, not only passionately but thoroughly. Yeah. So I, I do like, like I said, I like. I wasn't always a big fan of his, and I mean, I, I'm I'm really not a big fan of his by any means. <laughs> but I, I'm I'm a fan of his in the he's realm. A positive guy. Well, no, I, I like him because of what he brings to the table. Yeah, yeah. I, he's pos- He's a positive guy. You, you, people don't understand how hard it is to maintain positivity in the face it, of adversity. Yeah. And right. he did it every single time. Go ahead. We had John three sixteen on us. Yeah. So, I mean, well, like he, I said, he stood that, like that, it. He, you know, like I said, the cult following alone, um, he got fans out there. And they were rooting for him. Just like I said, if, you, if you're trying to make a team, I'm not going to ever say you shouldn't be on this team or you shouldn't be doing that. Yeah. But in this case, I'm glad he tried. He made, he he did. He got out hey, there. He showed it, what he could and couldn't do, and they made the decision. If he nothing can, else, they gave these commentators something to bitch about yeah. for like, what two three weeks. Yeah. Well, they, <laughs> it's right, like, well, yeah, did you nice get out there and play? No, I didn't. So shut up, <laughs> honey girl. No, this is yes. This is my honey girl. Do you want to give me on camera? You want to hop up? Well, hop up here. Come on. Say hi. Yes. Say hi. Uh oh. Mascot time. Mascot time. Yeah. This is our, the other one. <laughs> this is our, one of our puppies. <laughs> oh man. Oh, well, you don't have to bite my nose. Yeah, no, that's all, I'm, you I'm don't have to bite me right now, but it's it's on TV. All but right. I love you. But we're we're doing a video. But remember now, that's just a preseason game, Chuck. It's not the real thing. <laughs> but, oh yeah, the the Patriots. Yeah, they're What's destroying. The they're destroying. Yeah, thirty-two zero. Thirty-two zero. What, oh, what quarter? A fourth. Fourth. Like twelve. Wow. Oh, uh, it was 19 zero in like the second quarter. Yeah. That's true. So, but, uh, I, right, yeah. Right, it, okay, we're looking at that score. Look, we and, and, over. and as we said, and you guys can back me up on this, as, as I said on Tuesday, nobody really follows the preseason, not anymore. Over the last decade, probably even maybe going back two decades, well, I don't know, I think in the 80s they were still kind of playing for the preseason games. It's mainly a way to weed, you know, to to weed out the players that you're not going to keep. Right. After all, the, after the first week, they had to whittle it down to 85. Yeah, I mean, you literally had to cut a half. half they've only got. They've only got new players. They've only got three preseason games, and after each yeah. week, they have to whittle it down even further. Yeah, it's, I, and, and it's still fifty three. Fifty three uh, is a total, 40, and, it, that, yeah. and that's got to be done by August thirty first. And 40, only forty five suit up, right? If I'm not mistaken, uh, I, I don't know how many suit up. 
Okay, so it's like I would say, I mean, on a 53 roster, I would say probably all 53 su- suit up. Yeah, I don't think with the, add, with the addition of the seventh game, I mean, the the, the well, 17th game, you should suit them all. Well, I think you're thinking college there because in college you can have as many as you want. No, no, in college you have you have a certain amount that you can keep on the roster. Uh-huh. But you can only suit up a certain amount. And I have to look to see what that is. And I think that may even vary from uh, division to division. Well, I know with with these preseason games, it's missing one preseason game. You got to whittle this down to uh, 53 players by the the week before the the first game of the season. And then now you got um, an extra game at it. I think they should expand the roster to at least 62 players. So it should go up by players. I think it should go up at least sixty-two players or sixty. Let's say sixty players, right? Would, would I would I, I would say yeah. Give them an extra ten. Give them an extra ten. Players but you understand or sixty players. The oh, dynamic five, that comes along with that though is you'll have to analyze the the money side of it. Yeah. Because you have to understand because of the marquee markets. Right. right? We're talking QB, running back, wow. receivers. Actually, right. receivers are over running backs, then tight ends. Then the running backs are like really third or fourth primarily Actually, because your defensive ends come before you running back. Exactly. So all these marquee positions, you you, you have to go account too. for that. <laughs> yeah. uh, yeah. Say something. Say something. Are you, you going to talk to me? You, you, you invited talk to me. Yes, you invited her. You <laughs> invited her in. in. You invited her in, and now she's going to take over. No, yeah. Number two. Say something. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> she said, "I'm up here. Where you at?" <laughs> <laughs> That's just classic. How many? Th- that's crazy. How many times have they walked behind us and Every, never once? Yeah, this is the first yeah. time they got up here and actually wanted to be on camera. Yeah. All but, the time. The other ones just standing over there looking like, "What you doing way over there? You left me by myself." All right. So I did a I did a quick Google on my phone, and it says it's important to remember that just because a, a college team can have 125 players mm. on its active roster. Mm-hmm. It can only suit sixty to seventy. Oh, okay. Okay. Right. So, if they were to do something like that for the NFL, I would be okay with it. God, that's too many players. No, well, no, 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 no something about, like that. Like, 60, like for instance, uh, 60, right now, uh, sixty-two man roster. How do you would say only six, in, six, increase it up to sixty, maybe even sixty-five, and, and yeah, then you can only suit uh, fifty-three, fifty-eight, uh, fifty. Yeah, I would say fifty-five. Fifty-five. 55. You know, then then that means you can add another uh, wide receiver if you need one. You know, what you think it, the, oh. every position you got to look at it, gentlemen. Uh, you got to have a backup, so that's you got to go two deep or one deep. Well, one most deep. most well, positions most kicker, have most three. kickers and punters are they, are they back, on back? They back right. each other up. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it takes so. the kind of fun out of the the, the, the it takes the fun out of the um, the chest of it, like. I need to maneuver pieces and all that good stuff. Like I had this cap. If you I think about it, it these type won't, of players though, and... because we're only talking. Look, roster right now is fifty three. Period. Oh. Right. Right. If we increase that even up to just sixty, right? Yeah. And then that way you've got those extra players in the background, kind of like you know your immediate pull from the scout team type thing to fill if you have an injury on your fifty three. Yeah. So that's that's all the, we're talking instead about. Instead of going to the so, practice squad, so inst- you already got yeah. it. So right instead there. of going to right. your practice squad, you've already got it built in to where you have you know, your, your seven problem. reserve. It's, it's because look, eighteen like we already discussed, eighteen weeks, seventeen games. I know it's only one extra game, but they also made essentially you know another team making it into the playoffs, which yeah. means technically another game in the playoffs. Technically, not not literally, and then. Uh, and so, yeah, you, you you take a look with all that injury over time, it adds up. Yeah, I mean, that's yeah. why. I mean, take that. That's another reason why some of these playoff teams, like in basketball, have a hard time getting getting through the the, the postseason because by the time they get to that point, they're already injured. Yeah, they've already been injured. Or so it's long nagging. Season, they have to. And if you've got a nagging injury in the NBA, I mean, that's harder to run up and down those courts as much as they do. Right. Yeah, and it's because that's a constant sport. You're constantly yeah, you're moving. Con- yeah. But. Like but when you, like when I said, come, I don't when think it comes to football. I think if we keep, if we if they keep it moderate, like instead of going seventy, just keep it at sixty, maybe even sixty-five. But then make them only be able to suit the fifty-five. That way, they get two extra suits because it's fifty-three for the you know for the roster. Say you need an extra linebacker for this game, or you need an extra cornerback for this game, or or you your know. star receiver is is. Uh, you know, a little and has a nagging injury, so you bring an extra receiver off the practice squad just in case you need to pull him, you know, or the running back, or, the, or whoever. The chess match is still there. You just have more pieces to play with. 
I, I think so too. Uh, See, yeah. he's not buying they, it, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, he's gonna be in that philosophy. Play with what you got. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like that's the whole point. Like you go. Well, out, then, then you know what? You gotta live on defense and live on offense. Suck it up. Suck it up and yeah. play or play two way. Like if that, that like that'll case, ever happen. If that's the case, then you might want to go that I don't, route. I don't even think they they don't even do t- both. They don't even play both ways in college. They don't, the only time I've ever played both ways was in high school. Mm. That's the only time. Well, you know, Pee Wee is Pee Wee, but like in high school, I actually played cornerback and I played wide receiver, mm. and I was a second string wide receiver because I could block well. We wasn't a passing team. I was I was a safety and a cornerback, so I was always on the field. Okay, but it wasn't bad not to be on the field when I could well, get a break. The more <laughs> you, you got to think about it too. The more you know, the better off you are. But then when you get that established after high school, you're picking your solidified position. Yeah, like you were. All right, I'm gonna play defense. Who, or who play played offense. both ways? Was it? It was. It was a Dion and Devin Hester. They were the only two that I, I know that played cornerback and wide receiver. Mm. Uh, what's his name? Oh, yeah. It might have been somebody else too, but I'm I, just saying. Uh, there's a bunch of people that played, but not. It's Bo not Jackson. a lot. But I'm saying it's not a lot of. No, I'm talking. I'm like. Ta- I'm talking current era. Oh, okay. so, yeah, current era. I'm talking. I've not seen anybody. I'm, play I'm talking within the last twenty years. In the last twenty years, I think it was maybe five. Four or five people. Yeah, have to I don't know. Maybe yeah. we'll, have, we'll have to Google that too. Yeah, that'd be um, that's something that's we can Mike, talk Mike about. Mike He played a uh, um, tight end. He would bring up a Patriot number. I mean, you asked. <laughs> and and you current, asked. And current head coach. Yeah, you asked. He <laughs> but I'm saying, but I'm what I'm saying is, no, it's, it's happened. But I'm saying it doesn't happen now. It's, I mean, because you got yeah. so many people out there that you don't have to have nobody play two two ways. Right. And mm-hmm. you haven't seen a talent like Deion Sanders in a long time. You yeah, you're not. So you're pretty much not because people get to their position, people get to their position settings, and they stay there. Like you don't, you're not gonna see Jalen Ramsey gonna play a uh, uh, a wide out anchor or, or a running back position. Yeah. Now the only person I think could probably play um, Montgomery. Two-way. I'm sorry, Montgomery on the uh, Green Bay. Remember he was a wide out and then he became a running back. All right. So mm-hmm. I, I googled it. I know it's cheating. <laughs> we don't mind. The only one I know of currently, but he hasn't played in offense in a few seasons, is uh, defensive back Adore Jackson, and uh, and from Tennessee, he uh, yeah. he has a few rushes as a running back. Yeah. yeah. Now Julian Edelman played a defense a bit, but that's not what he's known for. He didn't. He, I, I think they threw him in for a few plays here and there, but he's not a defensive player. Yeah. So. Those are the only two that came up on the initial. Well, uh, I know um, the only one I, I can see right now could possibly do that is the young uh, JJ Watch, the one that played. Uh, what's his brother? No, the one that plays uh, fullback because he was a high, he was a no, linebacker. I mean, what? He, and a fullback. He's so a fullback. Th- those use, those right, usually here, switch over. Here you go, Chuck. One notable guy who has played both offensive and defensive is Mike Vrabel, who was yeah. a career linebacker but lined up on the offensive side of the ball multiple times. Yep. Huh. So and William kind of, the kind of Perry. Was it a touchdown? Uh, mm-hmm. not the Super Bowl. And William the Refrigerator Perry. That's the next one. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, well, he played. Yeah, he played yeah, running yeah. back and he played defensive well, you line. You said in the past. You said in the past. I did say in the last. Yeah, I know. I'm just, I'm just throwing. Yeah. I'm just throwing it out there. That's all. I'm just but throwing it. Out. It doesn't. You know. Be, and really, it's because some when you get when you finally get to, you can get away with that in in high school and maybe even a little bit in college, but you're not going to get away with that in, 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 in NFL. In NFL, no. professional sports. Because when they see that when they I think they lined up JJ Watt as a tight end once, and I'm saying and they blew that play. I mean, oh, yeah. whoever they were playing against blew that play up because they knew what was going. They knew what was going to happen, and they blew <laughs> that play up. You know, well, yeah, because so, it because it worked once. Yeah, it worked. And then once, so once they did it, it, once you do they it, they key it on. You it. Try it again, they're gonna key on it, and that, yeah. that that's why it doesn't work. It's okay if they can go, if they're good at blocking. They you get know, down in at the one yard. What line, what but, they should have done is they should have had, uh, like have him line up like they did but then have like a running back come around the back side yep <clears throat> that way it looks like they're going for jay but then he shifts and hits shifts the running back behind him running back yeah down. but like like we said you, that, that, that's high school that's that's, that's a high, high school, school trick stuff. but you know it still works yeah that's when you true. throw a name out there and people say oh wait a minute Vrabel's out here on on, on tight end what the hell's going on here it, it does cause a little bit confusing for a minute yeah. and then once it happens then they settle down and it's just another it's just another player out there on the field i got to deal with all right mm-hmm. so um so that should be it, yeah. I think, but for that for that topic. But um, I caught a couple yeah, baseball you know. games this week, and I watched a play Did last you? night. The Astros, oh, wow. dude, gunned him out. It was so close. Outfield. At home plate, it was. I mean, dude, I'm talking about literally. 
This is this is he was this close, and the guy tagged him. His hand, if his hand would have been, if he'd been sliding on the ground, he'd have been safe. But his hand was in the air, uh, and they had to look at it so many times. It, it was, but it was a great play. It's unpredictable what they did. It was a great play, I, and I I forgot how exciting baseball can be toward the end of the game. Oh yeah, especially yeah. when it's toward, close toward yeah. the end of the game. <laughs> Everybody says baseball's so boring. Oh yeah, I can't sit there forever. Well, just think about Astros in the World Series here a few years, a couple of years back, actually. Well, that, that was, that was a six-hour six, six game, dang there. I mean, people didn't go to bed till 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. Oh, that trust me, we got one. woken up on that that one. That was, what, 12, 13, <laughs> I, We were still living in the apartments over there, and all oh, of a sudden yeah, we were sleeping, yeah, and we're like, whoa! We're like, what the fuck? Yeah, 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 yeah. But, I mean, you got to think about it. It's three outs that you got to get, and they've got to be legitimate outs. And uh, of course, but the thing the, the thing about the baseball it's, it's a strategy game. Yeah, it's, oh yeah, and, and it's a time and it's and it's, and it's you gotta have patience. Are you trying yeah. to get you know the pitchers take the longest time they need uh, to throw the ball. The, the hitter got to stand there, crouched up, Nobody ready to hit this. because he don't know when the pitch is coming. Once right. it's coming, he got to key in yes. on it. Right, the right. right. stand there waiting for the ball if it's no. going to come. But that, that's down. the thing about baseball. At the end of the game, if the hitters are not hitting it or the pitchers are not pitching, it's a blowout or it's a right. lot of it's a lot of fat. You know, if you if they if they hitting 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 hitting, you know, both teams it's exciting. True. But unlike basketball and football, uh, it's few and far in between. Yeah, you understand yeah, what I'm yeah, saying, yeah, yeah. and that's why a lot of people get turned off on baseball. But um, there are more baseball fans in this country than there are football and and basketball. Over 150 years. So, so. <clears throat> but anyway, all right, like, share, subscribe. Yeah, still in the preseason football. I ain't got too too much to talk about on that one. But. Patriots winning. Texas versus <laughs> Texas Cowboys was, game this he weekend. Always, that's gonna he be will always sneak his Patriots well, in here somewhere, Texas somehow. <laughs> Cowboys might get their first preseason win. Yeah, right. <laughs> hey, Dak Prescott only, may come back yeah, out will of be uh, their only being win. hurt. We'll right, and, and before we that. sign off, don't forget, like, subscribe, and put your emails in the comments below. That way I can get out those invites for all of our contests that are coming up. Uh, season's going to be here with, within the next three weeks, so I need to get those emails out um, as soon as possible. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to start sending the invites out basically middle of next week. All right. All right, we'll see y'all next week. Have faith. You always got to sneak the Patriots in, huh? <laughs>